Giorgio and welcome to Too Many Bones in about three minutes. Review copy used. It has a solo mode. It's a game for one to four players. Playing time is long, and it's a pretty damn complex game. The evil tyrant has taken over, and the Gallic people live in terror, oppressed and persecuted within our own homeland. You are one of the Gallic Special Strike Force. Your mission, infiltrate the tyrant's base and take them out. But the journey is long and hazardous and time is against you. Can you save the Gallic people? You all win if the tyrant is defeated in the final battle. You all lose if you run out of time and have not defeated the tyrant. Narrative. This game has story encounters with decisions in them. Character development. Your unique character grows and develops new skills. Dice. This game is called Too Many Bones for a reason. Player turn. Choose a tyrant to face. This determines the length of the game, the monsters you will fight, and the final battle. Each player chooses one gear lock and takes their sheet and dice. You have four main stats. Health determines how much damage you can take and is shown with poker chips. You can improve your base stats as you progress, so adding two health here gives you two more chips. Attack determines how many attack dice you have access to, and defense does the same for defense dice. There are also skill dice you can pick up with training points. Dexterity, however, limits the total number of dice you can roll each turn out of your available options. Defense dice can be saved and reduce damage later on. Some dice can be saved for ongoing effects or used. Attack and defense dice can be reused later, but skill dice are exhausted when used. If you roll bones, you add them here and they can be spent to do special actions unique to your character. The game revolves around encounters. They will involve choices and some will involve fights. Fights normally have a number of baddie points equal to the number of players times the number of encounters you've had so far. This is day two with four players we would pick eight points of baddies. They are placed biggest first onto the encounter board. Each has its own unique skills, health, and place in the initiative order. Place up to four baddies on the board, and only four can be in play at any time. The players then deploy and roll initiative, placing themselves in the order from fastest to slowest. Tantrum is first. He has five dexterity and four attack. He uses two dexterity to move two spaces and attacks with three dice, getting one bone and three damage. Three damage is enough to remove this baddie. The other players act, smashing the baddies, leaving only one left. It is programmed to attack the lowest health hero, so attacks Tantrum doing two damage. If Tantrum had defense dice, he could use those to reduce damage here. Keep fighting until all baddies are defeated or all Gearlocks have no health. Then go to the next encounter. Why would you like this game? Chip Theory Games might have the mightiest production values of any company making board games. Everything feels so lush and amazing. The core of the game is a unique dice system and its interesting characters, and this is where too many bones shines. You each have a role and different strengths and weaknesses, but you also have variable development paths and options within your class. And it's this exploration and discovery of your character that makes Too Many Bones engaging. The combats themselves are nice and short and the whole game progresses quite swiftly. The best thing about this game is the genuine sense of progression and development you get. However, this is not a cheap game and it has lots of extra content, so consider it carefully before jumping into it if money is tight. It's also quite intimidating to learn as each character has so much going on and each character is very different. And I also found the battles a little repetitive after a bunch of plays. For another game from Chip Theory Games, check out Cloudspire. Too many bones. More bones! More bones! More bones! More bones! More bones! More bones! That's too many bones! If you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, subscribe to the channel, and come support us on Patreon.